In this video I'm showing how I'm sketching a nut hedge in ink and watercolor and I'm starting with my sketch in colored pencil and I've speeded this up a little bit so we can get to the more interesting part a bit sooner. As you can see I'm working on getting the posture right, getting a few uh, shapes for reference and um, so like the position of the wings and the tail, also the eyes and a few of the, the markings on the bird. I'm keeping everything quite loose at this point and I know I can rework the lines when I'm using my drawing nib in a minute. So I'm using this drawing ink by Rohrer and Klingner here, which is a really nice drawing ink. The color is sepia and this ink is waterproof. And the nib that I'm using in my nib holder is a Nikko Saji pen. I hope I'm pronouncing this the right way. So this nib has a very smooth and a very fine tip, but it's still quite sturdy, quite hard, so you can get really nice fine lines out of it. But if you press a little, then you get sort of these modulated thicker lines. And this is what I like about drawing with nibs. They're really flexible and give these really interesting lines. So as you can see, I'm using the pencil drawing underneath to guide me and I'm working in the feather groups and I've started with the eye and I'm actually trying to use the lines underneath as a sort of springboard so that I can produce really nice loose and dynamic lines. And this is what I really like about drawing with a nib. So I'm indicating a change in color with these little dots or these little stipples. And this will not be as harsh as a continued line. So this is actually nicer than if I were just to draw a line. And now I'm making these really loose strokes to indicate the loose feathers around the legs. So very often when you do a drawing in ink, it's much more interesting to have these broken lines and these unclosed lines. And this gives much more interest to the viewer than uh, continuous lines and closed shapes. At least I think this is more interesting to look at. And I'm almost finished with my ink drawing here. And you could easily leave it at that. I really like these sort of simple ink drawings. But I'm getting up my watercolor and I'm going to add just a bit of color on top of this. And because this ink is waterproof, I can work on top of it. So if you have ink that's not waterproof, you have to be a little bit careful or you can also go for these effects when the ink is bleeding into the paint. So I'm using a mix of gray and indigo here, which is this dark blue. And so this is a white nut hatch, which is common in North America. And they have these dark blue or gray uh, wings and then a white belly. And I'm just adding a bit of shadow here with a light gray mix that I made from raw sienna and my gray. So I don't want to overdo it with the color on this sketch because I have my ink drawing underneath and I think it's it should shine through. So now I'm adding more of these dark areas on the wings And as my first layer has dried, I can quickly add in a few of the darker wing markings. Okay. 
I'm darkening the area around the feet a bit. And now I'm using white gouache and I'm adding back in some of the white bands that you can see on the tip of the wing. And this will give a nice contrast. If you've enjoyed this video, then check out my video class How to Draw Birds. In this video series, I show you everything you need to get started when drawing birds in your sketchbook. I go over the basics of bird anatomy, show drawing techniques and tips, and give several demonstrations in pencil and watercolor from start to finish. The whole course has almost two hours of video. So come with me and learn how to draw birds.